How's it going, YouTube? This is going to be a part three, man. Welcome. Yes, Bane, I have played last Epoch. Quite a bit, in fact, already. Um, so, I think, like, we're starting the right side of Homestead, right, YouTube? Let's see. This is so interesting, actually. We have, like, two buttons on this guy. And it's extremely strong still. <laughs> like, we don't necessarily need to cast the curse right now, because the curse is, like, very uh, low points into it. I'll still cast it on, like, elite heroes then, yeah. blood give me that after today's uh well yesterday last part even what is yesterday oh um, what was it roiling blood into rift stone or something that i crafted and it's like chaos component that was good that was nice feels bad <laughs> we need those rolling bloods Maybe I'm gonna need one of those uh, rift stones at some point for like a craft or something. Who knows? Next level. What did I think about the last epoch? Um, I think it's very promising. That's just what I think about it. It's on the early access, and from like today, it's about like a year from now. It's going to have a launch. So, it has a long way to go, but it has a lot of promising stuff inside it. And in my also opinion, it is a, it's a very like, solid state of an early access start as well. Usually those type of games, uh, you can definitely see that like something is uh, there, you know what I mean? It will be good. Grim Dawn was very solid as well when it was early access. Like the product, the quality was there, you know, you were able to like even enjoy it that at that moment, yeah. But right now, it's extremely limited, so, yeah. Like, waiting for the launch is the normal thing to do, in my opinion. That's, that's just fine. Are we actually, like, burning the witch? I think I'm gonna speak to her, and I'll kill these guys. The Chthonic Seal of Binding. Appreciate that drop. Thanks to that drop, now we're capable of taking the... Uh, Devotion Shrine right over here, in fact. Oh, Bolvar is here. This guy is no joke. Guys, the amount of lifesteal I'm taking... ...is actually crazy. And it is all coming from the bats. Bats combined with Ravenous Earth. No joke. This guy dropped the Blood of Chthon, by the way. Holy crap.
Sorry, Zona. Maybe soon it will be your time as well. I'm gonna, um, guys, I usually go for the Father Kaiman quest instead of, like, the Order. So I'm not that comfortable with the quest line of this guy, so I'm going to be, like, turning back every single time instead of doing the, them uh, retroactively, let's say. Oh, he requires the seals, I see. That's fine. She needs some water. That is two. We need one more binding. That was lucky drop, actually. Thanks for the help, guys. Guys, in this town, there's um, there's a treasure trove as well. It usually spawns inside one of the houses. I don't necessarily know the exact spots, but I should check the houses. There's also a dynamite that could spawn on like the side as well. Um, yeah. So we're gonna hit hit up the houses here, and also I'll check out the side uh, side too. Hopefully, we're gonna find the treasure trove. Yeah, this is this is the place that I keep on calling the side. Chance the dynamite spawn. And then now we need to find the treasure show. It's nice. Oh, maybe we can destroy this? Kill the non-believer. I want that note. Oh, 
right over here, in fact. Ancient hearts, holy crap. <laughs> Give it to me. Five ancient hearts so far. Five ancient hearts, three tainted brain matters, and two blood of Chthons. Those are going to be so <laughs> useful later on when we're actually crafting good stuff. I'm only using Grim Internals here. So we were going for the Panther, right? I want the Lion, and that is going to make me... Six yellow, which is exactly what we need for this guy. Then we need like four greens, in fact. That's interesting. Normally I take like this one, so I suppose we're going to need to take the crossroads green as well with it. I'm still a bunch of points away from uh, the Ratosh tier 3 constellation. Oh, we could actually end up finding the uh, Chthonic Seal of Binding in this place, guys. Just gonna kill the blood sword. That was a binding. There's a dynamite spawn somewhere here. I heard something. Hold up. What did I hear? Seal of bind. I'm telling you, man. Sound effects. They're important. There's going to be a dynamite somewhere here as well. There we go. Kinda wondering like which phase is going to be tankier to me. So far this has been pretty tanky. It's possible that the next phase is going to be even tankier than this. No, 
No, this phase is definitely weaker. <laughs> that was insane. That's pretty much like the difference of resistances, you guys. There's a potent curse of frailty. Sometimes there's like a massive pack here in fighting. It's extremely easy to get this experience with something like Ravenous Earth, so why not? <laughs> Didn't give me the level, but... The Ethereal Essence. This is in an annoying place, in fact, but I'll turn in the quest to Homestead first. He wants me to meet him in four Titan now. Clean the bags also. So we have these pens that we have been waiting for. Actually, so much better than mine. Wow, this is giving everything other than vitality. It's funny. Too bad. My rings are like absolutely terrible, but it makes me mad because that one is bad also. Calcinate the resistance on this belt with offensive ability. We could definitely take that because I have a lot of HP. I think Calcinate the resistance is a little bit better at that point. Uh, a chess piece. To be honest with you, with about the same stats as mine, you don't necessarily need to worry about this so much. Okay, so one question is that are we... No, we couldn't get respected by them. That's kind of sad. I wanted to check out the NPC of Homestead for level 35 items. And I'm still not respected, so... Sucks. So this quest is going to be over here, in the ethereal zone, in fact, it's called the Morton's Claim. It's a pretty rough entry, but if you do it like taking breaks and using your mobility, it's pretty easy. Could take the uh, aether crystals here. I'm coming for you, dynamite.
Maybe we can pull this guy as well, actually. Don't think it's going to be too deadly for me. I'm gonna kill this crystal. Give this quest back to the order. I actually don't know like what is the next one. I'm guessing the next one is going to be inside like the tomb of Archon or something. Right over there. It's been some time since I didn't select the order. Yeah, it is. Good evening, Scorpio. How's it coming? We are not necessarily close to getting respected by these either. This is an interesting helm right over here. HP peer assistance. A little bit of like lightning resistance as well. But I cannot drop my helm. I need that immense resistance on that helm. I'm usually pretty good when it comes to like um the amounts of resistances in this one, we are actually still on the low end of things. So we could build up to the Blood of Krieg, so we have like something else to spam. Or we could max out the Vulnerability, and even the Curse of Frailty. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the Blood of Krieg, in fact, yeah. Let's start the Act 4, guys. Starting from here, all the way to um, Fort Icon, there's almost nothing that you need to do other than like one Devotion Shrine, picking up a couple of like waypoints. That's pretty much it, honestly. And maybe dropping a portal at the Tomb of Archon. I don't know where he's going. No, I had so high hopes about being able to teleport <laughs> to the bridge. Ravenous Earth plus the bat, you guys. People of standing skill still against everything almost in veteran. It's insane. The amount of lifesteal that it gives to you. And this is so like this is pretty much going to be um like our combination for late game as well, actually. I think the Ravenous Earth is going to be on the bat.
I'm not really sure about the Titan quest at Dante's. I don't really want to play it right now at the release, that's what I can tell you. I'll most likely play it at some point, but... Fraven is there. Fravenin, even. Been watching your build guides. Thank you. Been big help in making this game even more fun for me. So here's a sub. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the local lounge. And uh, it's my pleasure. I'm glad it was uh, useful and you enjoyed them. Thanks a lot for subbing. Also, welcome to the stream, dude. Hey, Ragrathar. Okay, I was searching for you. Surrounding me. But they're also body blocking the boss, so I don't really mind that. We need to kill the uh, healer. <laughs> Otherwise, Ragrathar is not gonna die, so... There's still a healer, by the way. Oh my god, dude. How many healers are there? Right, I think we're good now, right? Jockey Farmer is there as well. With his sub. How's it going, Jockey? Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the local dance, dude. Yo, thanks for the subs, guys. Only got my first character to level 65 fish and done the normal starting the next difficulty. Level with your Death Knight build, so much fun. Have a good evening, better get back to the playing. <laughs> yeah, see you, man. Thanks for dropping by. And good luck with your Death Knight. Yeah, this was the Devotion Shrine that I was talking about, guys. Up until the four second, this is pretty much like the only thing that is relevant. We start to lie in here, even more HP. I want to kill that Corruptus guy. Unbelievable. He was hidden inside the bush. Bro is saying, I'm farming low car and so far I have, we're gonna drop a portal by the way here, get you guys, the entrance of Tomb of Archon and we'll go take the waypoint first. He was saying, I'm for farming low car and so far I have 11 helms and 2 coats, nice RNG. Do you know what is better than 11 helmets? 12 helms, go one more time. Or the memes.
Farming legendaries are 72? No. I wouldn't do it. Shade tax. I'll try and like put myself into Act 1 at the very least in Ultimate Difficulty. And uh, you can check out my video about like where to farm. Uh, it's called Where to Farm Easy Spots. Like farming Act 1 even as I said like in Ultimate would, would be so much more valuable for you for your account and your character. Compared to what you could farm at level 72. That being said, like, if, if you feel like you could use some upgrades, like, feel free to run, like, some rogue dungeons and stuff, yeah, sure, but... I would not farm, probably, yeah. Like, you could run some Steps of Torment and Bastion of Chaos and continue, you know? Not that efficient, though. Not like this. How are you alive even? How's it going, Pew? Win fangs with rank 11 now. Guys, if you haven't played stream, if you haven't played with Revenous Earth, with the interaction of the bats, you must check this out. <laughs> as long as you have a Revenish Earth up, I think you're pretty much immortal. Not like this. We're gonna go to the hidden parts of this cave to pick up the Devotion Shrine as well, obviously. Let's get us some items. Waiting for the event. Hope you're gonna enjoy it. Here. Might check it out like after dinner or something off stream, edit it myself.
The Surya is always fun to go through. Um, the Wendigo mark on the bloody parks. Dude, I was actually like con kind of considering that too. Going for both of them. But I didn't necessarily like the six points into Wendigo mark. I, I had to remove it. Like, I'm going to end up taking the bloody parks at some point too, you guys. Uh, but I think that's going to be very late into the game. We, we don't necessarily need it right now. Like, I would much rather go for, like, the possession. I would much rather, like, max this out, you know, max that out. We, we, we don't need a secondary offensive ability right now, definitely not. Hey, that's good. Let's see what we have here. Nothing much, actually. That was a scam. <laughs> we lost our dynamite here. Please. What is this? Oh, this guy is apparently very resistant to me. This is the first enemy that is capable of doing this, I think, right? Crazy white hitter resistance on him. Interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, we might be able to uh, kill this guy faster if I switch to auto attack. Here we go. That guy was interesting. Uh, there's like a hidden chest somewhere around here that I could go for. Maybe it wasn't even worth killing him. Maybe I, I should have just sacked. Dipped. Hold up, excuse me. I, he I heard a component drop, please. Shit, apparently not really. Okay. We can turn this quest in, definitely. He has 125% resistance to Vita to you guys. Oh my god. Almost healed him, in fact. And <laughs> yeah, that explains. Even in the normal difficulty, that's a little bit too much. So we have something annoying here. The quest is not going to be able to continue on, on, until we actually reach the honored. And it is usually better to reach the honored with your first character so that like you complete everything. Um, This is not that guy though or this one. Maybe even like respected. Is this respected or honored that we need you guys? What do you think? Respected would be so easy. And this one is like very easy to get to also because like it is killing ethereals is giving it to. So... We'll come back here when I'm when I'm respected, definitely. And check like if we can take the new quest as well. Why well, so with elemental resistances? We got ourselves some new shoulders, I think. They're not necessarily um five percent cunning. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> They're not necessarily that uh heavy armor, but I think the rest is an upgrade, I'll take it, it's fine. Sky Fragment Ring, the Fallen Skies. Aether Resistance on it. It's fine, I'm gonna delete it. The 
common badges. The problem is they don't give experience increase. <laughs> we need the experience from that. Nectar Sword of Vitality. Sure. Com flag already learned. Is bad. I think I'll consume with mine. It gives you some peer assistance, why not? Alright, that's it. Yo, what's up, Samus? How's it going, man? Bad luck on the stream yesterday. It's alright. I, I had a good good time. I had a very good time. I think it was a good run also. Thanks, them. We could start using these on my amulets. I think I don't necessarily need the corpse dust. This is also giving me um vitality damage of course. Didn't know I even had two of them, so let's go to the four four Titan now. Looking at my resistances. Chaos and Aether is a little bit low. Homestead still not respected. They have some boots that we could buy that is giving Chaos and Aether resistance, in fact. That's why I'm trying to get it. Um, in fact, we're gonna go get it. Let's go to Rotting Croplands here. Kill a couple of, like, insects. Die, insect. And get that homestead reputation going. I don't think I'm going to be running like the Royal Hive, but we could kill the insects outside and it should probably be enough, in fact. Especially if we could find some elites. Oh man, this density is killing me right now. Maybe they are all stacked up in this one. Two hundred eight. I'm just gonna enter it. I think, instead of staying outside. Those better shells. <laughs> this guy's always here, by the way, guys. 
Like in this map. See how we're doing. One reputation missing. Are you gonna give it to me? Thanks, we gave it. <laughs> okay. Let's turn back. This is what we wanted. It's funny. You buy that? So, respected. The boots from these guys are pretty cool. Aether, Chaos, Movement Speed, and Elemental Resistance. Those boots are very good for a new character like this one. Otherwise, I don't think they have anything. Like, the Earth Ward is very good as well, this Helm, but like, it's okay. I'm just gonna save mine, I think. Let's go take out, like, the Mark of Traveler from this thing. Precious resources. Hmm. Should actually recover that. Let's do the Dahlia quest as well, by the way. To the very least, do the half of it. Not necessarily like the entire storyline, but why not? Take this from here. How's it going, Felix? Welcome, bro. What's my movement speed now? Front speed is 124. What do you mean? How am I slower? Unbelievable. <laughs> are you enjoying it, Conway? And what type of character are you playing? <laughs> that was not the best teleport, I think. Conjurer, I say. I did play Conjurer myself uh, recently, actually. Give me that dynamite! Excuse me? Unless you have Aether Resistance, this guy right over here, 
might actually be an issue recommended Lucians um especially on veteran like try to dodge his spells don't don't stand in the same place like let, let the fight take a long time it doesn't matter it's better than dying obviously and he's like one of the more um say scary enemies in this game no but soon Sekina. what's up anyway Sekina? welcome Same. Let's recommend the Lucius. More dynamites for me. This has been going good. I love my dynamites. Nine dynamites in my bags. <laughs> level 40. So how long did level 40 take me? 4 hours, 30 minutes. We did do a lot of farming as well. That is, in my opinion, not too bad. I think this is fine for fresh start like this. This is trying hard to optimize literally everything and giving you a, like a very smooth run, which is what it is right now. In fact, crazy strong the character. This is definitely going a lot um, smoother compared to like the Death Knight start that we had so far, in my opinion. That's a very good necklace, actually, for us. Experience gain increase? Wow. For level 45, we're gonna need to keep that in the bags. Brace yourselves for delight. Everything in Necromancer. This helm, you guys. What is this helm? My god, give me that helm. Okay, let's take out the runestone from my helm. Put it over there. So, the new helm is capable of giving me pluses into Necromancer. Just because of that, I'm going to be clicking one over there. And we could actually play a little bit greedier. Obviously, that is not going to be uh, your case unless like you end up finding this helm for yourself as well. Which is like not needed. Don't worry about it. But simply because I have it right now. What I could do is like I I am okay with like sitting on twelve for instance on this node right over here. I definitely don't need it, so I'll take one away. And um, the same could be said about like the DK as well. At least for now, definitely. So I'm gonna take like two points from there. Just play it even greedier than this. Put those points into the mastery bar. See if you have any devotion points available to me. I have one health and movement speed. Nice. Respected 500, enter the necropolis. Or we could actually like speak to an Hysteria as well. That's another quest that we could do right now, I think. Which I skipped, mistake. There we go. So when it comes to this faction right over here, the outcast, this is something that you can actually go against if you want to, which is what the Black Legion wants you to do. But Outcast definitely has like some very cool augments. Uh, as you can see over here, you could definitely like check the augments out. These things that you can later on like apply to your gear or the weapons. And maybe even some, you know, cool armor for you too. And as a fresh start, you do want to buy the mandates and put it to the bank. These mandates are capable of like making you gain more reputation with your next character. Which is smoothening the things a little bit. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is that, like, at the very least, in the normal and elite, we're going to go friendly with them. I was possessed by an ethereal. Why should I trust you? I will defy Reeve. So, she wants some objects. I already have them. I'm going to give them. I'll get the Fang. And the Fang is in the East Marsh. Let's go to the Barish. Nick Law was saying, 20k HP maximum resistance is in ultimate, and Lucius almost took me from 100 to 0. It was close. Uh, yeah, Lucius is no joke. It, it can be, because he's capable of like putting a very mean um, vulnerability at the same time with a stun. And when you're stunned, he's also capable of shotgunning you. So all these combined at the same time, you could definitely disappear. Uh, but that requires you to fail at the Meteor. Because this sequence starts with the Meteor. So, if you fail it to Meteor, it could definitely continue uh, being very bad. Normally, what I do in here, you guys, is I just, like, hug, uh, let's say, the northern side of the map until the very end. Basically, like, like the side of the map. And we could do it over here as well. Don't necessarily need to, like, explore this place so much. Uh, it's a dangerous domain, which means that, like, it is, it is a harder place just like dungeons in this game but at the same time it's a little bit more rewarding they scale higher than you as well if you pay attention this guy right over here even though it's a normal monster it's going to be level 44 uh, e even like the you know easier ones are level 41 like higher than me it's trying to keep up uh keep you know keep higher than me at all times that's what the dangerous domains do so even if i was level 45 if they're capable they will be 47 48 A uh, bearded magician was asking how valuable are the items that has plus one all to insert spec till later difficulties. My shield has it, but literally zero other good stats. This kind of depends on like what sort of uh, character you're playing. Um, if you're capable of like getting a lot of value from your spec, like buffs, debuffs, like a lot of skill nodes spread all over the place it obviously makes it so that it's more valuable if it's just like one line like just this it's okay to have it it's okay to not have it too like in this case for us for instance people that are watching from youtube like if you don't have this nothing changes us. it's fine it's okay it's, it's literally just giving me a little bit of dps and plus one to aura it literally doesn't give anything else and the DPS that it gives is very small at this point. This guy might be pretty resistant to me as well. It is possible. Let's see what this one requires. A chipped claw, that's an easy one. So that is actually going to be completing the lion, which gives me six yellow. So we're done with the yellow, now I need the red and the green. I think I need like seven more devotion points to complete that, but yeah. So YouTube, in fact, this is going to be the end of part three. When I give this quest back, the next quest is going to be leading us towards the steps of torment, which will be in part four. Which is also going to be a really good experience for me. We're almost level 41. I think we're going pretty fast in my opinion. This character is like so much easier to play. Uh, and optimize of course. Then the Force Wave, Death Knight, start from scratch. It is not because it's better. Um, it's simply because you don't necessarily scale from like weapon damage. So you're not constantly trying to upgrade your weapon. We found these things. You know, we farmed them and they're reliable. And then once you have them... You, you know, you're just at your top, let's say. So it doesn't really care about, like, the weapon damage at all. So you could just, like, run around. As long as you have okay-ish gear. It's very easy to, you know, have good DPS. I'll catch you on the part four. Thank you for watching, YouTube.
should you subscribe.